And now let's move further in. I don't know if they fixed there was a glitch here. <laughs> I'm not gonna show it right now. We could go through the door without, without opening the door. I mean, it's not that you need a key for this door, but no. Let me see if it still works. I think you could basically something like you, you dodge through here. It doesn't work anymore. Yeah, it doesn't work. They fix it. But you could dodge through the door. There. Like, you know, sometimes it happens to an enemy. They just clip through the obs uh, obstacle or through the pillar or something like that. But you could do the yourself. Same, the same thing here. There we go. <laughs> there we go. They didn't fix it. <laughs> that's the thing. <laughs> I mean, that's maybe good for a speedrunners to save some time if you do it the first try. But, you know, like this, just, you know, don't need it. For anything. Let me just shoot on this guy. So what we want to do, we want to put this thing down. And we have another bell there. And we have a Korok up here. So let's descend down first. And let's keep up descending down. We are having the Vilmonk here. So you want actually, you don't actually want to run to the, from the enemies. You want to kill your enemies. That was bullshit, sir. That's fine. So make sure you kill all these enemies. Don't, go, don't run from them because if they... Go chase you. You're gonna end up dead. Because there is a lot of enemies in the dark arm here. And uh, down there you have only Yudo, so you don't want this guy. With only Yudo. Get her. So, okay, we kill this guy. So you can go here if you want. Pick up this load here. Just check the situation. You have Ipon here. You have uh, one enemy here. You have one enemy here. We have a bunch of enemies down there which want to shoot you down. Okay, let's just kill this guy right now. So you got this guy here you want to kill? Once you kill him you want to actually shoot down this guy because he still doesn't does not see you. And we got one more punk we got to kill here. See? You want to be careful as i said that's why i'm saying you don't want to run these guys can be pretty pretty nasty and you have one more motherfucker here which you can kill from here if you want let's get rid of him and now let's get back up here to this kelly bro that we just knock away a moment ago if you want to hold the opener of the dark realm it's a uh, it's actually epon so now we only have epon to kill here Let's kill the Ipon. So also, how you know this guy is uh, owner of the Dark Realm? You, you will hear this music every time. When you get uh, run upon the you, uh, Dark Realm owner, you will have the some music change. Fuck. I could die here. I could die here. But yeah, this, this could kill me, but it's fine. Some water. Get some mind's eye. Come on. One, two. Come on. One. I'm gonna repeat it. No. That's why I'm saying the patience is really important. Yeah, I know you see the guy on a low HP. Let me kill him. Let me kill him. No. Don't. Wait. Just wait. As you can see, if you try any 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 attack on the low stance, it will not work that quite quite good as the high stance attack. Okay, so I'm here. Uh, 
on here. Nothing spectacular that we need, so... Let's drop that shit. And if you remember, guys, I told you I'm going to show you where is that Kodama. So remember, this is the shrine that we've been at, and this is the Kodama. That you actually been looking for. It was really hard for me to find this Kodama at first as well. But it's actually quite easy when you... You know, when you spend some time and you, when you know where it is. So let's see what we got here. We got a bow, Mysteria bow. And there is a Nurikabe wall here as well. So first you check here. Oh wow, this guy died for his uh, crush to that by Nurikabe for his friendly behavior. Which means he used the blue emote and triggered the wall. So you can use the yellow or red emote. One of these two is correct. So it was yellow, but I guess it like first try. It gets it first try, and there is another Kodama here. This is also the reason you want to go here. Ninja lock. Knife here, ninja lock. What we can actually get here with ninja lock. Get nothing. And powder shuriken. <laughs> Maybe shuriken though, but it's not that I need it. Mm. Barrier talisman, which is quite good for uh, people, for beginners of the key management so we dispel the dark realm and right now you don't need you don't need to go up all the way up here that i'm going but i'm just you know going up here for no reason when you are here you can actually try to get over here and just jump and try to cross this if you don't want to dispel the dark realm do all that shit have another bell here and destroy it we get the get the uh, goddamn achievement and this was the last kodama of this mission as you can see it was hidden there you wonder how to get how to reach it and uh, now we are going to the boss uh i don't need to go here anywhere anymore so let's just take up this way up kill few enemies and let's go to the boss fight and i'll explain you how you fight uh, shibara katsue uh Hey, yeah, I gotta drop down. Don't just kill this guy. So this is the thing, you, you shoot this guy two times in his actually in his face. Even though you don't break his max key, actually you're you just knock him out of key, you will be able actually to grapple him. As you can see, so I'll just show you once again. So watch his max key. See, I didn't broke his max key, but I put him in a grapple state. So that's the trick that you can use against Kuroka. And let me just open this shortcut. Just knock this thing down. Now we have this sh shortcut here. It would be nice actually that I have set up some uh, purity talismans with me. Because the purity and water works pretty pretty good against this boss, as so the lightning. But you know you can apply water and purity quite fast. Corruption as well, but not as fast as purity. So if you have some purity talismans, and I think I have some, yeah, I have purification talisman uh, talismans, and I can use them instead of the gas talismans before I get up there. So yeah, let's go to the shrine. Let me just set it up pretty fast. And then we go into we will go to the boss. So the difference in the key damage percentage wise, if you wonder between the purity and corruption, uh, purity does 50 50 percent more key damage, corruption does 30. So that's the difference. But uh, when you have a corruption or this uh, awakened weapon, you you deal in more melee damage. And with the purity, you don't deal more melee damage. Like you know. That's a kind of the difference. That's why the awakened weapon does less key damage. Uh, I want to go to the ready jitsu and I want to get some. I don't need gas talisman, but it's uh, quite handy to have it at the beginning. So I'm gonna put three of these instead. And I have purity talismans here. In use. And now let's move on. So if you wanted to see, there is not a single enemy because when we dispel the dark realm and kill the enemies inside it, they don't appear anymore again. And now let's go to the boss. So I'll show you a few tricks what we can do against this boss. 
Uh, I don't have Abbar and Soldier with me, but you can use Onibi as well. But yeah, I'll, or, or in a given time. So, Chibara Katsue. One of the really nice bosses. He does this charge. As you can see, when he's charging, his task is glowing. Which means you can break his task, as I did now with the Onibi, for example. Or you can try to hit it. So that's the one thing you should know. So whenever he charge, his task is glowing. You can break his task. You can break both of them. So if you try to do it with your melee attacks, you gotta be careful because it's not that easy. So I would suggest you to use some sort of soul core like Abaran Soldier, Onibi, or some soul core that has a range that can help you a lot. His burst attack, that would suggest you highly to burst down or just move away if you're uh, unaware of what he's going to do. And that berserk attack, the charge attack he does is quite easy dodgeable wait for him to get near you then you just dodge on uh, on a side he does usually three or or four charges depending so like you have for example this is opening for you to, to attack or to heal whatever you want to do so is there you go one three four five sometimes he does five so you open it to attack be aware if you are behind him he, he will actually turn back with attacking you so you want to be careful when he does this move you want actually to wait at a certain distance and just jump inside him like i did there a moment ago again charge you have opening to attack watch this i'm behind him again he's gonna do that attack every time you are behind him he's going to do that attack so be careful with it one this one is quite easy avoidable watch this you're gonna do it again so now you have opening to attack him if you want okay I miss him twice with Feral. It's quite quite crazy actually to counter that. To use brute, use brute or Phantom for that one. I would suggest you. Okay, my bad. So when does that attack? Either move away from here, here as far as you uh, as you can, or perhaps try to uh, time and dodge inside him. But I dodge actually, you know, I dodge past him, so that's why that caught me. But let's get back up there, and I will just show the rest of the moves that he has, and then just going to kill it. Let's get back up here. Let's get back up. <clears throat> so every time you enter, you're gonna probably charge it. It's like a 95% of the time you're going to charge to you. Now, you have opening to attack. Again, he does this. See? I just dodge. Two, three, four. He can do the fifth one, but he don't need to. As I said, that's a variety it is. One, two. Now opening for you to attack, heal, whatever you fuck, wanna fucking do. You behind him, remember he's going to attack you. Every time you're going, you are behind, opening. Charge, using the dragonfly. One, two, opening to attack. Opening to attack. Knock him out of key. When you knock him out of key, try to maximize your damage. Hit as much as you can. Again. Dodge near him. Now he's in a dark realm. You want to be careful when he's in a dark realm because he's quite deadly. This grapple you want to dodge. There is no speaking. So watch this. When he actually doing this in a dark realm, he's leaving these exploding trails. And it's a quite, quite actually different than when he's outside the dark realm. So you want to be careful actually. One, two... Three. He has the same charge, but he has an additional one that he did a moment ago. Five. You don't want to stay in front because you can get caught in these flames and you can die. See this thing? When he does this in a dark realm, every time he does it in a dark realm, you're going to leave the uh, fire pole on the ground. You can trade some damage and hit him with a brute if you want here, but I don't suggest you. So be careful. You see this fire trail not going to disappear like in a second. You want to be careful when he's in a dark realm, so be aware. What you can do, so what you can use to prevent that is a levitation scroll. So levitation scroll can help you with his ground effects. Again, he's doing this move. Let's say move away from him. Let's put some purity on because he's weak on purity. When he does this big move, just go behind him. Don't try to stay in front. Okay, that was my bad there. Dragonfly. Fire, water, supply some water before he gets in a, in a ground. Okay, you're going to remove it because he gets in a freaking dark realm. One, two, three. Now you're going to turn into the 
grapple. Are you going to turn back to me? Okay, he did a charge instead. One, two, three, four. Hit one. Watch. What you can do also, you can block these hatches that he does there. Yeah, this pig, you, you, he's gonna, you know, go all the way here. So you wanna go behind him or just out of the fucking track of that pig. So this thing, as you can see there. One, two. Oh, fuck. Oh, my bad. That was my bad. That was my bad. Sometimes you can actually do that move, do this move, like, a, you know, two hits, follow up with a, with a charge like he did here. You wanna be careful. He doesn't do that quite often. It's a quite rare attack that he does, but he can do it. Especially when as you are actually, you know, making his HP going down like, you know, below 50% He actually can pull the certain attacks that he usually does not pull when he's at a full HP So, let's just get back I'll just... You're gonna do the charge again Or grapple, there you go uh, I said 95% of the time you're gonna do the charge And these five are left for the grapple, so Okay, get inside him Like some purity on him One, two See, he didn't do the uh, now the charge. So you can use your block also to block this and get inside him. Okay, let's do some attack. One, two, and you see he didn't do it again. Because like I said, he doesn't do it often. When he's in a dark round, somehow he actually avoids or he doesn't do the. See what I did there? So you can use your. Fuck, fuck. You can use your brute counter to break his stats, but you gotta time it very, very precisely. Don't play around with it. I mean, I would not suggest you or advise you to do it, but you can do it. That just, I just want to show you what you can do. Move away from the pig trail. One, two. Now you're gonna do the charge. There's a charge in the dark round. It can follow up with a with a grapple. I hit it there. And there you go. Additional follow-ups in the dark round. Yeah, come on, man. Okay, he tossed this too close to him. I don't know why, man. I don't know really why he tossed it too close. Probably, I think I know what happened there. I think he was about to toss that on me because I was afar and I knocked the only B and then he registered only B as another target and then it went inst uh, to the only B because only B was closer to him. That's why I actually ended up there. But it's not. It shouldn't be ended up there. But you know, it's fine. Let's get back up there. So I'm just going to kill it right now because I sh guess I think I cover all the moves that he actually does. So I'm just going to kill it. But this is what happened there. I'm pretty sure actually. That happened. It's quite crazy though. What about the chances for that? Grapple. Yeah, put some purity on. Have, so have, we have more key damage. Because as I said, you can really easily apply purity. There you go. You see where that usually end up? And I don't know how it ends up that close. Because it never ends up that close. So you want to be careful because you're going to dispel any element that you put on him when he gets in the dark round. Okay, you want to be careful with this. Don't be too greedy. Don't be too greedy at all. I mean, don't be greedy at all. Trust me, you don't want to be greedy with this guy because you're going to end up dead. When he's waking up, you want to be careful because he can hit you. When I wake up, un unlike some, some bosses, so you want to be careful. Again, the same attack. Wait for it, dodge inside him. When you're near him, you're fine. So yeah, that, that is the follow-up that you can actually lose counter if you want. That you can do. I did use my only bit to break his task when he was charging toward me. Grapple, go behind him, knock him out of key. Another only B here. We put some purity here. Fuck, I fuck up. I fuck up. And did. Counter him. 
I suggest using brute here on this one. I'm actually a little bit pressure in him here. Just finish him off. So pretty much you have seen all the openings you got and all the attacks he has. So in between you have openings to do whatever you want. It's up to you. When you get his his key, you know when you're near the end, you can actually keep up, you know, knocking him out of the dark realm. He gets in a dark realm, you're knocking him off and keep up, you know, pressuring him like I did there. And uh, I guess we got one more mission. Amazing boss. Oh fuck, I shouldn't have cancelled this, but it's fine.